Hello! This week, well, last week we did our very basic aluminium welds to get the aluminium weld looking, well, like a weld. You can see, it's alright. I thought this week we would try and actually join two pieces of aluminium together. So I've cut this bit in half that we're practicing on and I'm just going to try and run a weld up the middle of it. Uh, so, if it's still the exact same as it was, 100 amps on the welder, all the gas, seven's exactly what it was before. Go on then, run a bead, David, see what arms. Eh, it can only go bad. Or good. I'm even getting to use my nice helmet this time. Now I've adjusted the settings on it. Right, fill the rod, fill it up. Hammer down, and let's see what madness we can create here. As you can see, I got a little bit carried away at the end there and it got a bit hot and kind of turned into a puddle. But nonetheless, I have appeared to. Oh, I should talk again. Joined two bits of aluminium together. <laughs> I don't think I got as much penetration as I did last time, or I was going too fast because I don't seem to have gone all the way through to the back. Uh, 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 that way. Like I did the other time. I just started to get it there, but not as much as I did. Well, this is obviously the backs of these welds. Hmm, interesting. Wow, that's hot. So I think my plan is, with all these offcuts, I eventually want to make a cube out of them. And actually, not a cube, but, well, yeah, cut them into something. Maybe make something like that, you know, a cube type thing, put ends on it and just weld them together for a project, see what happens. But it's joined together, it's pretty strong, I think. Can't really lean on it, but... It doesn't look, let's see if I can get a zoomy shot. Ooh. The one in the middle, the one that's the joint. That, I know I got too hot and didn't put enough filler in at the end there to fill the crater, but it worked, which was most impressive. So I can at least join aluminium together if I need to. I do need a thicker piece of metal for this table because the stainless is absorbing all the heat and warping. Another thing, my uh, filler rod keeps, when I try to dip it in the puddle, it turns into a blob on the filler rod, like a bogey on the end of it, it turns into, I don't know why that does that. Anyone? Anyone know why my filler rod turns into horrible, horrible aluminium? It's hot as well. Anyway, I'm tempted to join and try and join another piece of that, or cut it again and Try another piece. Right, let's do that. Okay, attempt two. I should also say that the first time I did, I managed to not dip the tungsten in the puddle, which is more than impressive. I am super impressed with that. Right, can this go darker? A bit. Yes. Mm, that'll do. Try that. Try that. Get a new filler rod. 
gloves on. Mask on. Barrot. Not bad for the level, but you sit it. <laughs> wow. Okay, I went slow this time. I could see the puddle getting bigger and bigger and bigger as it went along. I also see how much crap is in that. How much contamination there is. Wow. Yes. So, we start off okay. This is going to be hot. So, let me try and pull this in the shot. Ooh, ooh, master of thinking. Oh. It starts off okay, and then I get hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter, and my puddle starts to escape, and I have to stop. I turn it over. Yeah, it's starting to blow through this side. <laughs> oh, oh, my shot. Starting to blow right through. Well, I'm now assuming that this is why you have a foot pedal, so you can control your amperage, so you can start off. Nice not to get it going, and then as the puddle starts to go, you can ease your amperage off. Hmm. So, perhaps on our next video, I should try and get the foot pedal out and see if I can vary the current and see if we can get it a bit more controlled. But I'm happy that I can actually stick two bits of aluminium together. So, should I have to repair any aluminium, we can stick bits of aluminium together. No, I'm quite pleased with that. Let me put this somewhere where I'm not going to accidentally pick it up. Top of my diff. Excellent. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and if you've got any tips, or uh, hey, I, I appreciate any tips whatsoever that aren't just learning to weld, because I'm a hobby welder, I don't have 10,000 hours of welding experience. Right, next project.